Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to SOA. This is Polyester coming to you. Let's see if we can't get some jump scares. Now, a couple quick things here. Audio quality I'm going to be playing with for a while. So let me know how this video sounds. I'm going to be listening to it as well. If you guys have any advice on how to get better audio quality on the PS4, I'd love to hear it. Now, the other thing is I had a couple complaints that it was very, very dark in the last playthrough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bump up the gamma here. And we're going to see if that does any better. All right, guys, let's see if we can't scare the crap out of ourselves. This game messed with my head last time I played it. All right, so it looks like I got stuck here. For those of you that don't remember from last time, we woke up in the middle of a undersea lab that's completely decrypt, and we're trying to figure out how to get to this place where we're supposed to meet this girl. Or maybe I shouldn't be right. This game has such a good atmosphere to it. Absolutely love it. It's got this dark, cramped feel, and then there's that. Hello there. So we've got a couple options here. We can unplug her. Let's see before we do any sort of get out of here. Well, it looks like there isn't an option. Let's see, though, before I go about killing people. It's the first regular human we've seen so far, though. Alright, looks like Chick's about to die. Unless I'm missing something. Nerf, not missing anything. Sorry, hon. No, she is not. I killed her. But all the power is stable now. So let's go back. Now, some of you may remember me saying I played this. I have played this, but it was a long time ago, so I'm relearning stuff as we go, just like everyone else. Okay, that's stuff that's supposed to be an impact event on this morning of January 12th at 513. The comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact brings us one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All, in, all evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to save, sustain life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communications station located on surface plat platform Omega. It was on me, which is, under the circumstances, a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos, Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Oversee, overseer K for, for Corinne. There's a video.
All right, so it looks like there was a disaster. So we're getting more and more details here as we go. The comet hit Earth and absolutely devastated everything. Oh, papers. All right, looks like parts for one of those little swimmy things. And that dude's sketch of himself. Did I not have to kill that lady? Okay, so I fixed the power regulator, apparently. But now what? Let's keep looking here. Can we put it back in? Bring it back? Doesn't look like it. So, where am I supposed to go then? Hmm. That's where I came from, so really... Everything is messed up in here right now. Okay, so I don't go back out. Oh, hey.
That was so much easier than what I was making it. There we go. Huh. Looks like it needed adaptive types. I'm not really sure why. But it says floodable airlock. Let's remember that emergency exit. And I think we sit down. Alright, where was I supposed to go? Okay, so it looks like we're going... Oh no, a track obstacle. Alright, so, dang, now how do we live through that? I feel like that would kill most normal people.
Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Come on, why wouldn't I worry about that? What possible reason could there be for me not to wonder where... I was just sitting in an office, and now all of a sudden, I am the master of undersea travel. Get out of here. That's so gross. All the cracks are gone. It healed me. No, 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 no. Where's the maintenance hatch? Maintenance hatch, I'll just bet. What's that? God, it's like this place is falling apart. Oh, dang. That's closed. Back out into the underwater. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit brighter now. Hopefully overall video quality is still pretty good here. And I can never go back. Oh, about the size of an ocean. You know, I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? You're on Earth, bro. Get out of here. Do do do. Let's explore. Blocked off. Lights. I heard something. Fishies. Hi, fishies. More lights. This does not feel safe at all. Alright, I promise to do my best to explore. So that's the effort I'm making. That's a submarine called the Pequot. I'm fairly certain that's a historical submarine. I don't remember what it was that, <clears throat> what it uh, had to do, but I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know next time. Damn it. That was scary. Alright, Scorpio. Scorpion. All right, dead end, so I gotta go past Scorpion here. Guys, they did the audio phenomenal on that. I jumped just from accidentally running into that thing, like, scared the crap out of me.
That looks gross. Can I go up there? No, don't you fall. Got it. I feel like I could be such a creeper right now. I wonder what people would be doing in here. This looks like storage room. Hey, Lambda, found you. I love how the sounds let you know when you found what you were looking for. What is here? Alright, we're going to remember this is here, because this is how we're making our escape, guys. Even with all that rust. Hello, Mr. Hardhat. What was that? What the heck is that? What just happened? Well, I'm still alive. Where are you, Catherine?
I'm so excited about this. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Hello there. We got our own personal AI. <coughs> I feel like there's a whole lot going on here, guys. No, it's back. Well, guys, prepare for death. 